Italy, land of Virgil and Cicero, land of Michelangelo and da Vinci, and now the land of Luigi Di Maio and Matteo Salvini, head of the populist five-star movement, or M5S, and head of the far-right Liga Party. Monday night, the two presented Italian president Sergio Mattarella with their program and their man for prime minister. We are at a historic moment. We have indicated to the President of the Republic the name of the one who, according to us, can carry forward with solid leadership the contract of government that we will sign soon. That man is Giuseppe Conti, a little-known law professor from the M5S with no political experience, a man who will have to manage the interests and influence of the two party leaders, and who some are concerned will be more of a figurehead and less of an actor. The president has still not announced whether he accepts the nomination. If he does, the M5S and League will have 10 days or so to get their government approved by Italy's parliament. That should be no problem. The two parties have a majority of seats. Next, it'll be time to govern. That's what has Brussels and foreign investors worried. The two parties want a flat tax and more spending on the unemployed and on pensions. And they also want to deport hundreds of thousands of migrants. Di Maio and Salvini see all of this as the way to jumpstart Italy's economy. Europe's political leaders and its banks see it as a recipe for financial crisis. Siamo pronti a partire. Nessun... We are ready to start. Nobody has anything to fear. Obviously, we want a government that, as we have proposed to Italians during our campaign, has national interests in the front and center. We will respect all and everybody, but we will put Italy in the center, Italians first. If Brussels is worried, and it is, Moscow is thrilled. The new Italian government is set to be pro-Russian and against European Union sanctions on Russia. Those sanctions come up for renewal in June. Italy could block them. In Poland and Hungary, populists have already challenged Brussels from the east. Now, an escalation. Italy, one of the six founding fathers of the European community, looks set to open a strong southern Eurosceptic front. Bianca Zanini, I-24 News.